everybody uh, is able to get on and everybody is settled from that crazy weekend of blitzing. So I know a lot of us um, blitzed our hearts out to get as many bookings as we can. And so now you're asking, what do I do now? We've got all these parties on the books. So what are we going to do now? What's the next thing to do? Okay, so I know I'm just getting used to the screen here to see if I can minimize. Here we go. Make me smaller. Okay. So what do you do now? You have all these parties booked. I know I was like freaking out because I had 15 parties booked and that's a lot more than I normally do. And I was like, oh, I have to get ready. I have to, first thing I have to do is make my hostess packet. So if you're a friend of mine on Facebook, I've put a picture. Actually, that's how I got a lot of my parties. I just put a picture and said I was in a contest. Um, and I know that's business on your personal file, but I just said I was in a contest and I posted the folder and for people to message me. So once in a while to do that, it's fine. Uh, but I did get a lot of people, a lot of interest on my page. And I, that's how I booked a lot of the parties. And I did get some local people with the party on the goes. And I got some Facebook parties. And I actually got some home uh, shows as well for local. So that was great. So the first thing that I did, hostess coach, right, Gina? That's the first thing we're going to do. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that um, in a minute about as far as hostess coaching, because that's exactly what you want to do. You have these parties on the books and you have to act and get the engage your hostess. Okay. You should be contacting her at least two, three days after you book the party. So First thing I do is to make my hostess packets and I send those out to the hostess. So you want to make sure that you've done that. And if you book the party, now this is if you've booked a party off of a party. I don't know if you were uh, having a party at your, you know, during the blitz and you booked a party off of it. But if you're doing home parties, you should always bring packets with you to be prepared. So you should bring at least three to six packets. Six is wishful thinking and you never know. You could still get, you could get six parties. It, it can be done. So be prepared and have those packets with you. So then the hostess that books off, of, you know, the friend that books off of her hostess will walk away that night with the packet with her. So always be prepared and have those hostess packets with you. Now for people, and also too, another thing that is good to do is to bring at your home shows to bring the party on the go bag. Okay. Now I'm going to go into detail about the bag um, in a little bit. But I wanted to show you, and if, again, we got these at Reunion, and everybody's crazy about them. Um, everybody's crazy about them. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but if you bring uh, a few bags with you at your shows, this way you can give them to your hostesses, and uh, they can start getting orders, and they're, they'll be really excited to have product in their hands and leave the party that night and start getting orders for you. And that's what you want to do. You want to get them excited. So it's a good idea to have a few bags with you too, to give and have your hostess packets inside the bag. So again, I'm going to show that <clears throat> in a little bit. And then also too, on this particular slide, I don't know if you could see it because uh, my face is covering it, but you want to also have a hostess guide. And I'm going to show you that in detail in a few minutes. I've created one that I could post here. I'm not sure if Dana has it in her files. Um, I posted it on the party easy party group. I'm not sure the name of it, how to party PZ style group. I posted it on there. So um, this is a planner that I've done and let me um, get rid of this for now so you could see more. So this is a planner I've done and actually Pink Zebra has also done one as well. We had asked for tools and they're listening and they're giving them to us. So I have the hostess planner here. This is ideally made to be on 11 by 17, but it's four pieces of eight and a half by 11. And, uh, you know, if you want this file, I can upload it here, but it's um, really easy. Um, what you do is you just put your um, date of the show here. I don't know if you could see, uh, and the time. And then um, this one, I've actually gone ahead and typed my information on it. But on the generic one that I'll upload, you'll put your information there because you want to make sure your hostess has your information. But in that um, packet or in this guide, it has everything that she needs. It has, I'm hoping that you can see this. It has the let's go shopping. So that lets her uh, pick out 
um, what she wants as her hostess gifts. She has the, the hostess chart is underneath there and it shows, you know, what she can earn because you want to get her excited. You want to say, oh, what can you, what can we get you for free? You know, so get her wish list. Basically, this is kind of like a wish list and see what she wants and then work with her to get those things. So that's what's on this sheet. And you got the, um, the updated hostess guide on there, excuse me, the hostess chart, including the VIP box. And this one actually also to mentions a little bit about the opportunity. I don't go crazy with that. Um, but I do mention it here because people want to know if you don't have that mentioned in any of your literature or any in your show when you talk people don't know that you want people on your team so you need to act you need to mention it and during your show you should mention it a couple of times at least so um so make sure you have sponsoring opportunity information in your packet okay and that you're talking about it at your show because like i said you have a captive audience there, so um, you never know who's sitting in your audience would be interested in doing what you do. And sometimes people don't think that you want anybody on their team that they figure, you know, you, you, you're not, that's not something that you're interested in. So just make sure you share that. That's one big thing I can tell you. And then um, there's a little guest planner in the packet and that just helps her think of who she could invite because obviously you want her to invite at a home party as many people as she can because normally about half the people are going to show up so this this is a little sheet that helps her think of who she can invite and it's kind of like a frank's list you know you got four relatives you got friends co-workers and such so that's on this sheet here pretty much everything's on here um what you're going to need, how, how she should invite um, the, the people. So that's one of the things in the packet. Um, hold on a second. Oh, uh, I wanted to make sure I say this too. And I know people got confused on this. Um, that, you know, the first thing I do is mail out the packet because I want to make sure that gets in the mail because the snail mail, it's going to take, you know, however many days to get to where it's going. If it's local, then you have, um, you know, you can hand it off to the person. But I do a lot of Facebook parties. So the first thing that I do is to get it in the mail, get the hostess packet in the mail to the person. So that's the first thing I do. But you don't want to forget. And for all these contests, you have to make sure that you enter um, on ZebraNet. You need that package. Okay, I can I can uh, post this. But you want to make sure you create the party on ZebraNet. A lot of people were getting confused during the Blitz. Like, what, what do I have to do? You enter the party on ZebraNet and do that right away. And this way you can get the link for the virtual party URL. And you get that. There's an example of it there up on the slide. And, and I'll post these slides in Dana's um and Dana's group as well so you can see it. So that's the configuration of how a party um link goes and you just put the party number at the end of it but so you give the hostess the link also so while she's waiting in the mail for her packet she'll have a link that she can share with her friends and i also go into some um text that i give her i have text that i will tell her i will send her so she doesn't have to worry and make up her own text and i'll shoot her that a copy and tell her when to send that to her friends. But anyway, so you want to create the party on ZebraNet, and then you also want to make up a uh, event for it. Even if it's a home show, it's really a good idea to have a Facebook event for it as well. So you're going to have two two things going on. So this way, the people that can't go to the home show can see the event and see some of the specials you might post for them because the hostess wants to be the one that's, you know, showing their friends how to get the discounts and the specials and and, and that kind of thing. They want to, they want their friends to have a good time and see because they like the product. That's why they booked and they want to show it to their friends and show them what they can get. So on the Facebook event, you can build up even for people that are going to the party just to give like sneak peeks of, of what they're going to see at the real party. But they can, you can also get people interested that can't attend on there as well. So you make up a Facebook event. And uh, that's a, an example there. Um, I have some mast heads that I've designed. Um, and, and you want to make it a theme. I'm like, gosh, we could talk about so many things of how you want to make your 
Facebook parties, but that's a whole nother topic. But I'm just telling you steps after you've blitzed of what you should be doing now to set up. So make sure you've done all this, okay? Um, these are the things that I do. And again, I kind of winged it tonight. So uh, I want to make sure that you guys know this is what I do. Also, too, you know what I have on here? Because I'm anal. I know people don't like that word, but um, I actually went on um, ZebraNet under the reports, and I did my own party report, and I printed out, I put it in Excel. You can download your party report. I don't know if you know that you can do that. So I downloaded it in Excel, and I made an extra column, and... Because I have 15, like I said, for me, I forget if I mailed somebody something because I, I don't know, I just lately forget a lot of things. So what I've been doing is in the last column here, I wrote when I send the person the packet or if I've met up with them to give them the party on the go bag and I'm just keeping track. So that's how I'm keeping track for this blitz because I have so many. So for those of you that have a lot or, or for even if you don't, it's a good idea to track when you've sent something. So that's another thing I'm doing post blitz. Okay. So I have this out and I'm getting a little nervous because I see that I have a lot more packets to make. And again, I'm going to show you more about what I put in the packets, but I was running out of materials because we booked so many and I was like, Oh my God, I have catalogs coming in tomorrow. So that's a good thing. Um, so anyway, so do that. So let's recap. So you're going to get the packets done. Uh, and then after you send them in the mail, then you have time, you know, you have some time and then put them on ZebraNet, right? And then you want to put them in your planner too. Like I put mine in my, um, my actual planner I got from, um, reunion. So I put mine in here. I'm doing a lot of Facebook parties on Thursdays. <laughs> That's supposed to be the best night. So I have my parties here. I have home party. So I'm putting them in here and then my party on the goes, I haven't put in here yet, but I probably will keep track of that. So, um, so now I've got, uh, let's see, we've talked about entering the parties. We talked about the Facebook parties. I'm going a little fast. I also have, and I'm kind of bummed because in my haste, uh, before I was preparing this, I accidentally deleted my hostess letter. Ah! So, um, I have a hostess letter that I show. Um, that I just, well, not that I show, that I put in the bag to kind of tell them what to do with the bag. But of course, I'm there in person when I'm handing it to them. So I tell them that as well. But um, for my packets too, I have an instructional, I, I have my packet, but I also have, um, but I also have in there what to do in it. And then that's the letter I must have rewrote over it, but I'm going to, I'll rewrite it again and um, I'll post it. But yes, I did uh, rewrite over that. But I make sure I put that in the envelope when I send it out because I put all this in an envelope. I went ahead and bought some uh, 10 by 13 envelopes over at Staples. Now is a great time to stock up on all the stuff I'm showing you because it's back to school time. And a lot of this stuff is dirt cheap is very cheap and i just actually was at staples before this and i picked up some more folders um this folder here and because i've taken the planner out it's not in the direction of how i had it so look so this this folder is a cheap folder it was 50 cents 50 cents i got it at staples see this is it before i put stuff in it i just took this label off because i'm thinking I made my hostess packets so pretty that I'm thinking they're not coming back. See these nicer ones? These cost more like a dollar, almost two dollars, these binders. So for my, not to sound cheap, but it adds up. So I, I've stocked up on the 50 cent ones. And again, Staples has these for 50 cents and they're great because they're clear view. And what I've done is I've put the, um, the catalog on the back facing out so that looks great right and then i have my planner like i just told you and i taped my business card i'll take it out so you could see i taped my business card on there i just had to order more because like i said we've been just so busy so i put that in there now the reason why i have this this one i'm still making because i'm still making a bunch of them but if you notice see how it's pronged you have to get the pronged ones and i'll show you in a minute why 
Um, let me get the one that has everything in it. So this is one of the binders that I'm giving for the party on the go because I'm I'm hoping that the party on the go bag's coming back. <laughs> um, and as a matter of fact, I know it is because I'm giving it to people that are local. So this is the binder that I'm giving everyone. Yeah, the see-through ones are good. This one's nice too. This one is a clear view binder. See, and I got it buy one, get one free. So I just put my cover in there so I could adjust it to whatever I wanted. And uh, I went to town, you know, in town and country and I got some stickers and I actually stuck them over where it said me, the, you know, the name of the binder. So here's this, the nice binder. Oh, they're, they're all nice. They're just different. I picked up whatever I could. And then um, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to move my screen to see if you guys can see better because I'm trying to hold it up. So I have on this side, this one I put two catalogs, okay? I'm, I'm kind of low, so ideally I would put two, but I'm running low, so I've been putting one in some of them, so you might see one and two in here. So I have on this side the hostess um, pa uh, guide I just told you about. Now put in, make sure you put in the um, Paisley pick, okay? You got to make sure you put that in and the VIP box so they can see it and they can see what the scent is for the month that they're booking, Okay, and even if you have, um, if you have the following month, if you're in Club Pink, and you should all be in Club Pink, you should be able to get these scents. So I put that flyer in there. I also, <laughs> you'll see how my glasses fell. Um, so I always make sure I put in um, any specials too. So I printed this out. All I did was copy and paste from the back office. Didn't take me any artistic. Uh, ability and I put that in there so now they could see okay that's one of the specials so I you know want to make sure they see that so I put that in on the other side and then on the inside of the other pot on the back pocket I have some order forms and I make sure I put my name on the order forms I have stickers and I'll show you those soon in like a few minutes so I got my stickers on there another catalog and I did stick an opportunity brochure in here I happen to have some so I did stick an opportunity brochure in here so this particular one I have two catalogs I have some order forms I have the Paisley's pick I have uh, opportunity brochure Paisley's pick uh, any specials and then these I'm going to show you these um, now what I make with these I found and again, it's at Staples, but you can get these at Amazon because I just ordered more at Amazon. I'm trying to find the actual sheet for you guys. So I found these at Staples and what they are, they're for business cards, okay? And they fit, they work perfect for what I needed. So there's 10 pockets. So I put two sheets, which will give me enough to put 20 cents in uh, the kits. Now, I'm waiting on scoops, but my party on the go bags, you could put, because you're seeing the person, hi, Joanne, because you're going to see the person, uh, you know, in person, you're not mailing it. You could put your scoops in this bag, you know, and, and then you wouldn't have to put the samples like I did like this, but because I'm mailing them, obviously I'm not going to mail scoops. So that's why I'm using these um, inserts. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I brought that up. But um, so I buy these business card holders. I just got them. And then I got these um, baggies that are two by three and they're four mil. I'm trying to look for them now. Um, but anyway, you don't need to see them. I got them on Amazon. They're two by three and they're four mil, which means they're thicker. I got thicker bags and they fit perfectly in those sleeves. So then I um, put them inside my kit. Look how great that is. See how good that looks? So I put the top sellers. I made sure I put the fire uh, side vanilla in there because that's the Paisley's pick. So I want to make sure I have that in there. And then I put every scent category. You know, I have some, you know, fruity. I have some woodsy. You know, the holiday ones, the pumpkin ones, people like pumpkin, the fresh scents. So I tried to put a variety in there. 
and I have, um, like I said, two sheets in here. And that's just enough. It bulks it up, and it fits in my it, it fits in my uh, ten by thirteen. So, I've also discovered though mailing it. Hi, Beth. How are you? I just noticed that when I'm mailing these, that it, it can get costly because they're a little heavy. So what you could do too is flat rate them. And if you go to the post office, um, they have a priority mail flat rate for six. If you could fit it in the smaller one, I think it's like 635. This one's 695, I believe. And when you're sending stuff across, I just sent one to somebody in Colorado and initially it was going to be $12 and I was like, Ooh, that's a lot. So uh, <laughs> I saved a lot of money and I stuck it in here and it all fits. It all fits in here. So, you know, sometimes you have to spend money to make money and it's, it's a chance we take. So we never know if the hostess is going to do something, but we hope for sure that we've talked to her and she's serious enough. But so that's what I do as far as mailing them. I've, I've actually been trial and error today um, in the last few days, actually finding different envelopes. Right. It's tax deductible. So I just wanted to tell you what I'm show you what I've been experimenting with, because, um, like I said, I want to try to get the cost down as much as possible. So this particular binder, like I said, is in my party on the go bags for local people. And then the people that I'm sending out to, I've I've found other less expensive folders. And have been using those um you know walmart too i went to walmart and i found three prong one i think this was a dollar and i made labels these are from avery as well two by four and i just i always go on avery.com and i just put the you know i have the logo in there as a stock image and i just put it in and type in what it is so then i can use this or um i also bought these that are really cool these are 50 cents too and this one's really nice. Look, it's like a zippered packet. So same thing, same thing inside, but it's just different ideas. So this one costs a little bit more to mail. I also got, got away with doing some media mail on some of them. And media mail is way low. Um, and I always ask how long they think it's going to take if I do the media mail. And some of them wasn't really that much of a difference. And because I'm putting my samples flat like this, and I have a, a catalog above them, they don't really know that it's not media mail. Don't tell people. My post office people love me anyway, because uh, don't you guys give your people scents and samples and stuff? Like the guy at my post office, his wife loves me, and the girls are booking a party. So, but anyway, so because they're flat, you can, because um, they're in the sheets like that, it works out good. So, I also, if you noticed my labels, I print those on Avery too. I do everything on Avery.com. It's free. These are the labels that I use. A lot of people, I posted them on my page and people were saying, how do you create them? So these are the labels that I use. They're 8293 is what I use, okay? So I put them on there and then they print out well, this is a messy sheet, you know, so many up. I already have the template in there uh, and just print off however many sets I need, stick them on my little baggies, put whatever scents. I have all the cartons laid out, put them all in, stick them in and you're, and you're good to go there. And then the other labels are the return address labels. I don't know if you guys do your own labels, but I do a lot of my own stuff. 8160 is that template. And these are my labels and on my labels. I don't know if you can see it says, join my team, host a party order online. I have my website name. I have my name. I have a lot of stuff on there. So, and I make sure I label everything because you want your name on everything. You want your name on the back of the catalog. You want your name on the order forms more than anything on the first sheet. Okay. You want your name on any piece of liter literature that's going out. So that's the hostess packet. Um, that I put out. And again, I know I went fast, but, uh, again, and I'm experimenting as I go, as I go, I decide, or I find something else that I say, oh, wow, that'll look really cool. You know, that would look cool in my, um, packet. There's a little picture there of, oops. 
technology. Um, so there's a better picture of what I put inside of it there. Now, the Party on the Go bag, um, a lot of people I know really want that bag, and I only have a limited amount of those bags. So you can use a lot of different things for your Party on the Go bags. It doesn't have to be the one that actually says, you know, um, Pink Zebra Party on the Go. You can use, you can use whatever you want um, for that. And I'm going to show you before I had this really cool bag, what I used. So for those of you that go on to reunion, everybody saves their bag. I've used the clear bag, which actually is pretty cool to do because if you take this when you're walking around and have it on you, people ask, what's that? As you can see, I have my scoops in here. And um, like I said, I'm waiting on more scoops to come in because I had so many bags out, but I put them on a shower curtain ring. So you can use a clear bag for a party on the go bag. And then also too, um, here's another one that I'm going to meet with a lady tomorrow because I ran out. This is, look at these. These are from town and country. I don't think they were that much either. Can you see them? I'm going to um, take this slide off because we really don't need to see the slide. Uh, so I got these big bags and I'm using this for a party on the go as well. Because, like I said, I have so many booked that I had to use different things. So what do I put in the party on the go bag? Yes, I'm, I guess technically, Gina, I am mailing a catalog, so I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. But I don't think you're supposed to put anything else in there. So anyway, let me get back to this cute little bag. So I basically put in my party on the go bags whatever is portable enough to give my hostess. So what I put in there is I'll put um, the Naked Reads, okay? I make sure I put the new formula of the soaks and a lotion. Now on the new formula with the soaks, you want to make sure you also include the new spritzer cap. So it's in here. So I put that in there. I have a donut hang it that I put in here. And again, anything that's portable that you could put inside, that's what I put inside. So I have the donut in there. And I just started doing this. I put a carton so they can get an idea of the size of the carton. But in the carton, I actually have items in it so they don't move around. So. In the carton, I have a scoop, and I kind of made it a little pretty, and I only filled it halfway, and if Joanne's watching, this was her idea about the halfway part, um, and I tell them that they can actually use this in their vent of their car if they stick it in, you know, and that can make the car smell nice, so um, I put a scent in there of um, the Fireside Vanilla, so they know what the month uh, the party um, the sprinkle party of the month um, is. And then I'll put a piece of jewelry. So this is coming out of the carton, okay? So it's not all moving around. And then I put in a glimmer candle with the wick so they can get an idea of what that looks like. So that was all, I'm hoping you can see this okay. It's kind of hard doing it via TV. So anyway, so that's one part of what I put in here. You guys, you know, this is just ideas. You can put whatever you want in your party on the gold bags. And I would love to hear what you guys put in yours. This is just what I do. And it's to give you ideas. I've got, you know, the gold cards, of course. That's really portable. I put a jar of sprinkles in there. I have a bunch of the first ones. So that's what I've been using as my freebie for people. So I put that in there and I let her know that she can get that. But it gives an idea of a mix for people. And it also gives an idea of the size of the jar of the sprinkles. So I put that... And whatever else, you know, I could fit in there. I have my business cards in the front. There's a front pocket here. And then, of course, the packet. So that's what I put in my bags. So we've got the packets, the bags, and then what else are we going to do, right? So I actually asked um, Nikki Stramecki if she would come on and join us. And hopefully uh, she's listening. So, Nikki, if you want to pop on. Let me see if Nikki is uh, available. 
I had sent her a link. And she's going to give us some tips on hostess coaching. So, Nikki, if you're listening, I had sent you a link. Hopefully you have the link still. And you could join us. Let me see if Nikki's... I'm going to try to get a hold of her on Facebook. Does anybody have any questions while we're waiting on Nikki? Hump. You have so many leftover cartons, right? So it's like, you know, I was trying to fill up the bag, especially this big one that I have, because I was like, whoa, I mean, I could actually put the ballerina in here and a bunch of stuff, you know? So I was like, I'm going to put the cart in this way. The cart in, you know, will make it so stuff doesn't fold, fold, you know, move around and, you know, it'll secure things in there and it looks nice. People get an idea of what the carton is, uh, the sizes and stuff. So put that in there. And, you know, like I said, it's an idea. You just experiment you know i've evolved of how i do everything everything i do down to my facebook parties everything i evolve because i'm constantly learning and going and, and investigating and checking out new things to improve myself so that's why i'm sharing <clears throat> those tips with you so um hopefully nikki is uh getting on she's messaging me now here she is so without that, I'm uh, <laughs> unless we have more questions, how do I do the testers? Okay, Nikki, Nikki's still waiting, but hold on, Nick. So how do I do my testers? Okay, well, I just started doing this. Like I said, my party on the go bags, I was doing the scoops. Uh, and because it's local, I, for local people, I'll send the scoops out um, like this in this bag. But because I have to mail them now, I've been putting them in sheets. And I um, just found these great sheets over at Staples. I don't know if you could see them, but they have them on Amazon too. I just ordered a bunch. And they're like $5. I don't know how many sheets you get in here. Um, and you can even cut the sheets if you're real careful. Yeah. So, I mean, local people, you're going to get it back and it's cheaper, but when you're mailing it out. So these have 10 in a sheet and um, this is actually one of the packets. Can you see? <laughs> so, yes, I put them in there and then I have my labels and my labels are the round labels and I showed those as well. And I do that on Avery.com. Right. I was thinking about using baseball card sheets, but these happen to fit my two by three baggie. And these baggies are, like I said, they're the four mils. So the scent, I know some people say the scent will mix up, but I'm hoping that the hostess is not going to have this that long. I mean, a week or so or two, maybe at most. So I think it should be okay. So, so and these are the um, thicker weight. I don't know if you can even see that they're a little more cloudy or you could tell that they're thicker. Um, so those fit right perfect pocket and I could get the most out of them. So that's why I use the business card out and it makes everything lay flat when I mail it, as I, I mentioned before. So it works out real good. So that's what I've been sending two sheets. So that's 20 cents. I will not lie. There are some people I've sent out more cents. It depends on how I'm feeling, although I'm overwhelmed, I have 15 bookings now. So I've been doing, a, <laughs> I've been kind of cut back because it took me like two days. I'm still making them. I'm still making hostess packets because ah, I've been running out of stuff. So, okay. So you're asking me if they send them back to me. Well, I was thinking as I was brainstorming that if I sent an envelope, a bigger envelope and folded it, pre-addressed it and offered them free sprinkles that I would get it back. But after talking to a few people, they told me, Karen, you're probably not getting those back. So kind of resigned it to the fact that I probably won't get them back. And that is why, um, again, I know you're getting on late. And that is why I searched for cheaper folders when I found things for more like 50 cents. Um, and I went to Walmart. It's back to school time. So stock up. I just went there with my daughter today and uh, I had to get more stuff. And I found 15 more of these clear 50 cent folders. So guess what? I'm stocking up. <laughs> They're perfect. And for 50 cents, I don't care if they don't send them back, you know. 
anyway. So without any more questions, I'm going to have Nikki come on. Oops, where is she? There she is. I give her a few minutes to get ready. Here she is. So here is Nikki. Hi. For those of you that don't know Nikki, she's an executive manager with Pink Zebra, and she has um, earned a Paisley for the uh, parties and, I, I don't know, a lot of other awards for partying and sales. So she's a good person to talk to about parties and hostess coaching. So I thought I would invite her and ask her some questions. Is that okay for you guys? Okay. So you guys could ask her some questions too. So um, Nikki, a question for you. I've talked about the hostess packet and I talked about, um, you know, the party on the go bags. Now, once your hostesses have their packets and whatever else they need, what do you do next? What do you do for hostess coaching um, next? Um, my next big step is I, if they're on Facebook, I create a Facebook page. Um, I create the Facebook page because it brings people in that she might not invite before like people out of state her family and friends out of state um people that might not be able to make her party she would invite but also the people that she does invite to the party so they know that date is oh she's having a party on october 19th i gotta save that date because so and so is having a party so i make up that facebook event page right away um i invite her to it i talk to her about it i message her and i talk to her about what i'm doing my I coach her along with the whole process of it, why I want her to do this. And so we're also building a connection, me and my hostess. So that's my first step I do. And that's, of course, I send out the hostess packet too. Right. So you send out the packet, you make up the Facebook event. And then uh, do you call, like for on my letter, which I lost and I'm so upset because it was so written perfectly. Um, anyway, I'll rewrite it again. So I tell my hostesses when I give them the packet, there's a letter that I put loose in here and I put my hands, you know, I write it. I don't want everything typed. So I, I write out to her. But I, I tell her that I'll be contacting her or to, for her to contact me when she receives the uh, folder in the mail. Do you follow up and call after that? That's a good reason to follow up, right? Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very bad at the phone. I'm very bad at calling. So that is a downfall on my end because I'm so busy and I'm always on the go. So I message them. I create a bond through messenger or texting. So after, like you said, three days after sending my packet to them and I'm already talking to them on the messenger it doesn't matter. They're already, even if they get it, they're jumping on and like, Hey, I got it. I got your, right. got it because I have that connection already with them just being on the messenger. But right. normally two people are booking parties at my home party. So they know me. Then they've met yeah. you. Right. Right. So for someone like myself, um, I do have some home parties coming up, but, um, and in the past I've done lots of home parties, but now it seems I do more Facebook parties. So uh, that connection's even and more important to establish because I haven't met that person one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we could do video stuff. Sometimes I listen to, cause I followed the tag team and I've done the, Hey, and sent my video hostess coach, personal video to them. And I've done that. And, you know, I've kind of backed off on doing that a little bit. Um, I do it in the introduction, like in the Facebook group, I'll do a little intro, like, Hey everybody, my name is so-and-so. Um, so I've done that. But um, don't feel bad about the not calling because everybody texts now, right? So texting is like the best way. And I ask them too, if it's on the phone, messenger, at a party, I ask them, how do you want me, how do you prefer to communicate with me? They always say messenger, Facebook messenger. I'll get texting, never emails anymore. You know, that's very rare, but it's. It's building a connection online, and it seems like nowadays so many people have that. So many people, that's what they have time for because it's such a busy lifestyle, right. I believe, that it's a quick message on the Facebook, and they know that I'm staying in touch with them and communicating that way, too, so they feel comfortable with that. Do uh, you do you use oh, – I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Did you have more? Nope. Um, so do you use um, the – I know the company stopped sending the invites and I actually put a request in to give us back our paper invites. Um, 
because people like getting stuff in the mail. Uh, do you use the, what do you use for invitations? Do you use the paper ones? I know there's red stamp now that I've been experimenting with. What do you use? Red stamp is awesome. I also use red stamp a lot. I think red stamp's great because you can make up an invitation and you can send it right to your hostess and tell her to easy way to invite. It's an easy way to remind people too about your party. Um, I also send out the postcards. I still use the postcards. Um, Pink Zebra offers them in our back office. I buy them. They're cheap. I get out 50 of them, I think, uh, for a couple of dollars. And I put those into the packets too. And they like them. My hostesses like them because yes, they can mail them out. But they also could hand them out to their coworkers at work, to their family and friends. They right. have a paper to hand out to them. That's a good idea. I bet you a lot of people, if you asked everybody on this call, I bet you people don't use the paper invites anymore. And people, you should, because like just like you said, they're easy to hand out. You can pin them up on a board in the office. So, uh, And people do like getting stuff in the mail still, too. The Red Stamp app, I got to say, is pretty cool. I know I just discovered that in a recent training that I did. And that's really neat because you can um, ask your hostess to um, write even at the party that you booked. You can have a preset uh, graphic that you use. Just change the type out. And boom, you could tell your hostess, hey, get your friends to save the date kind of thing, you know, save the date. And it's easy for her because you just give her whatever copy you're going to give her and she just shoots it off to her friends to save the date. So it's called Red Stamp, guys. It's a good app if you haven't heard of it. And one thing I want to put out too with the postcards and do invites is that not everyone's on Facebook. There are people that are not on Facebook anymore that do not communicate through Facebook. So that's why it's also important to have those postcards or paper invites. Right, right. And uh, as we just got a comment um, from Beth and she's saying the same thing that she, um, she has home parties and those people sometimes are not on Facebook. So that's what she does. So that's good. So people remember to use your invites. Now you don't have to use the ones from Pink Zebra. You can go to Target. You can go wherever and buy cute little invites. I have, <clears throat> I'm looking over here and they're in the, I don't want to reach over, but I have, you know, what's really good? Uh, Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh. They have more zebra print and cute little paper things. So <clears throat> I buy a lot of stuff there. So you don't have to use the ones from the back office, although those are pretty geared towards us. So those are good. So, <clears throat> so you got your invites, you got your Facebook event. Yep. What do you do after that? Um, I'm posting on the Facebook event. I post on the Facebook event. My hostess knows that I would like her to interact on the Facebook event. So I might, you know how Facebook parties, you play parties. I might put on their scoop of sprinkles, guess how many scoop of sprinkles. So I'm interacting with people on Facebook too that way. Um, and I'll do a prize with these sprinkles. You know, if, hey, I'll take $5 off your order. The closest one without going over is going to win um, $5 off the order. Right. So, you know, that's kind of nice that you could offer a little stuff like that because then more people are getting involved and it's creating that excitement. It's creating, they're seeing this and it's just, they are going to want to come and see it in person, no matter what. So you keep, I keep posting things. I don't kill it. I don't do it every day, but I will do it, you know, every other day, maybe a couple of few days I might do it um, and just keep posting about Pink Zebra. And the yeah, other I was going to ask you that because um, I've seen one of the things that was one of my fears. Well, I've done a lot of Facebook parties now, so I kind of got it down. But one of my fears was like, you know, oh my gosh, what am I going to, Two. some people do them two weeks out. I was like, that's way too much. People, people are nowadays, they want to be quick. I mean, it's, that's way too far out. And then, and then sometimes I'm invited to somewhere, like you said, the people are over posting, over posting. And then you're like, why am I even, you know, in this event? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, when I send out the packet, I wait till they get it. And then, uh, then this is a new thing I've started, um, where I say, text your friends to see, you know, how many are going to come and then make up the event. You know, you could do that too, to see if there's an interest there. Um, <clears throat> but, um, you know, it's just, um, it's a good way to, uh, I'm, I'm totally having a, a brain. Um, let's see. I forgot what I was talking about. I think it's, <laughs> And you know me, Nikki, I never do that. I know, so you're catching me off guard there. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. But anyway, um, yeah, posting, overpost. We're talking about overposting. But yes, um, I, I only do it like a week out now and I post once, once it's, you know, once unless there's a special or something that comes up and then I, then I'll post more than that. But people don't want to be annoyed by it. So you don't need to start two weeks in advance. You don't need to overpost, you know, just so you know that. So, you know, people aren't afraid to um, look. One thing that I'm doing too is right now, like I do have all my September parties events made up. I mean, I even have my October events made up too, the ones I booked, but they're not, I mean, it's, they're just stagnant. And the only thing I put in there is what is peak zebra. And then, you know, you can find those graphics, you can make graphics up and I have on there what's pink zebra. So my hostess is inviting people just to save the date. And that's like our big thing is to save the date, you know, so right. and so is on this time. So at least it's open, but I'm not like posting on those. Right, 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 right. So I'm still, like I said, I'm still evolving because I've been learning so many different ways to do it. So I don't want them to go to a blank page either. So I want to make sure I go on there. That's kind of why I've been asking the hostess. First of all, you want to pick people for Facebook parties that have lots of friends and are very engaged because if they're not really engaged on Facebook, then you probably sorry, won't get a lot of people on the Facebook party. So that's just how it is. Um, but if it's a, an addition to a home party, then that's then that's different. So um, what is your best, what do you think? Because I'm going to look at the time here. We only have a few more minutes. But I wanted to ask you what you think uh, is your best hostess coaching tip that you could tell everyone. Um, I think the best, because I was thinking, and I think the best hostess coaching get, um, that I could tell you guys is become, get to know your hostess. Be very friendly with her, you know, because she's going to be possibly a rebooker. And if you take good care of her and your host is coaching, you know, you get to know her family a little bit, you know, that kind of thing, become personable with her. She's going to come back. All my hostesses, it seems like they come back and rebook parties with me. They love it. They love the product. They love me. You know, we, I get a friendship with them almost. And um, they're always looking out for me. And when they book a party or they know anyone that wants to book a party, guess what? They're hooking me up with a booking. They're hooking me up with orders all the time, bookings, you know. I'll have hostesses, too, that I'm close with that every catalog comes out. They'll give me over three to $500 orders because every catalog, they love the product so much. They love dealing with me because also I reward them for doing something like that. And they know I take great care of them. So becoming close to your hostess, I think is probably, I mean, to, for you to be successful, your hostess has got to be successful. So you want to make sure she's going to be successful for you to be successful with a great party for a home party, a Facebook party, any of those. You just, I guess that would be my biggest tip is to really connect with your hostess. Right. And I think that's an awesome tip. And I think that works with the reason why you sell so well, because you have to people buy from people they like, you know, and people book with people that they like. So I think that's a really great tip for people to to make it a little personal. Remember their, you know, kid's birthday, write things down on your order forms or something. And, you know, and if something goes on sale, it's their favorite thing. Make sure you tell them, you know, I do that. I have customers out of state. I had a guy just call me up from um, Kentucky. And when he said his name, I'm like, hey, John, how are you? Because, I mean, he actually sent me what his living room looked like to, for me to pick out, like he texted me it, wow. to pick out a shade that I think would go, you know. So, I mean, you, you kind of, and, and he knows, like, he he ordered so much that it could have been a party. Um, and I didn't know he was going to do that. But you know what? He had mentioned a few things that he was going to maybe get. And I had him here. And I'm like, I'm going to send them out to him because you know what? That keeps him coming back. And he just called me the other day because there's a new catalog. And well, you know, I sent him it, but, but I'm saying customer relations is, is really big. I mean, even if they're out of state, it, you know, you could still service people. I get people call me all the time and they want someone in their state has to be someone. I'm like, you know what? I take care of my customers. So, you know, it doesn't have to be in your state. And with the shipping now for the 49.99, you know, and over free, it's, it's, it's really easy to sell for people to buy from somebody out of state. I think anyway. I agree. And, you know, and even when you, when you are on Facebook and you become friends with your hostesses and you know how you have to friend them. So they're on your personal page. Right. Well, 
there's another way to connect with them. You're going to start seeing some of their posts. So start connecting with them on their posts, like liking their pro liking their pages. You see someone's birthday, wish them a happy birthday. Those little things, like you also, they really go a long way. Right, Just right. Making connections. Right. Well, I know we did, we talked, it, it was an hour. We're, we're, it's an hour. I don't know how long Dana talks. And I kind of skipped, we didn't go over every aspect of hostess coaching. I mean, there's a lot of things that you're going to do. You get their wish list. And, um, you know, uh, I offer, you know, before the party, if they get me $100 on outside orders, an extra gift, you know, I know we didn't talk about all those other things, but, you know, there's other things for hostess coaching. I know Christy posted on the board. Um, uh, I don't know if Christy, Christy must still be on. She posted for everybody to share their tips. So maybe uh, people can share what they do. And again, everyone's different. Everyone does things differently. I just, you know, showed how I do mine. I'm sure there might be a cool way that you do yours. And, uh, you know, we learn and you learn from trial and error, you know, and if it doesn't work, just, you know, it's, it's your business. That's not anybody's going to you know, fault you or anything. It's just trial and error. But the big, most important thing is that you try, because if you don't try, then you're not going to have any parties or, or any customers, right? So let's see if we got any questions. I'm going to look over here, Nikki. Does anyone have any questions for me or Nikki? I know we went fast. We both have our pink zebra attire on Nikki yeah. That's a thing you know you always wear your always always every time I go out I have something pink zebra they must be like here's a pink zebra lady mm -hmm. there's no questions now I know we're on a delay this will play over I think it went well except for the part where me spacing out and forgetting what I was going to say That's crazy. There's no questions. All right. We're that good, Nick. Nobody has any questions. Or maybe the <laughs> people are shy. Well, I hope you guys <laughs> learned from this. Um, I will put my hostess packet template on here. I think I've already done that, though. It might be in the files uh, on Dana's board. And um, if I find that, I have to retype the hostess letter. But but again, these are just ideas. And if you want to share your ideas, that would be great, too. And I just want to say, um, everybody in Texas, we're praying for you. Um, and we hope you're all, you know, safe and sound. If you need anything, gosh, I we feel I know I feel helpless here. Um, but I do know the best way that we can help is just to continue that is normal and, and just be patient, be patient. Right, Nick? That's right. It's super sad. I just keep praying for everyone in Texas. It's breaking my heart to see them. Your mind is like, you can't even sometimes like today I'm like, why am I feeling so depressed? Like I feel so depressed today and I'm so yeah. sad. And it I'm is. like, well, I mean, my whole pink zebra family is down in Texas going through this and I just can't do anything for them right now. I just, you feel helpless, yeah. but I keep one. Well, we have each other. So anybody, you know, just will pick it up for it and help Dana. I know Dana and Dwayne are actually out helping a friend, uh, friends in their neighborhood. They were fortunate that they didn't have any damage. So they're out helping. So, you know, we can help each other while she's gone help with her board and help, uh, help her manage. That's how I know I'm, it makes me feel a little better that we could help. So um, congratulations to all the people that booked. I hope these little party tips help a little bit. And that if you do have parties booked and if you haven't had your packets put out yet, that you get on it and get your <laughs> get your packets out, right? And call your hostesses up. So we're going to say good night. And um, thanks, Nikki, for joining us. And we're going to end the broadcast. All righty. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.